at Chichikama National Park for day one of our International Living Lab. It's a biodiversity hotspot area, so it's a perfect place for a living laboratory looking at intertidal zone animals. So we have this group of students um, that consisted of students from South Africa, two universities, Arkansas State University and, and, and USA, and then the University of Hong Kong. So the first day is actually for them to have this opportunity to explore this amazing biodiversity that we have at the, at the south coast of South Africa. They will go down to the, to the shore um, and then they have an opportunity for about four hours to explore the intertidal region between the high tide mark and the low tide mark. It was really interesting. You don't think something's alive, but everything is alive. Some people even got in the water with a scuba gear and took actual pictures under there with um, underwater cameras, which was amazing. We found a few like sea stars, which were pretty cool, with four legs or five legs, so I think that was pretty cool. And then the sea urchins was pretty nice. It's really colorful down there, I have to say. Like, I didn't think it's going to be that colorful, and that's pretty cool, yeah. We saw a few fish, but I have no idea what kind of fish they are <laughs> that are swimming away. So far, it's been really interesting, because I'm a SAS-5 practitioner. So we do biomonitoring in rivers. So I saw a few things like a crab, the shrimp, and the amphipoda. I mean, finding things that I've never seen before, most of the things I've never seen before. It was really fun. Like, I didn't think it was really this much fun, you know, diving into the water and, you know, swimming next to the fishes and the different kind of species that um, are surrounding us. It was pretty cool, yeah. It was very surprising to see the, how diverse the area was, just from walking maybe a few meters, and it was just completely different. Different species, different colors. In America, we've got brown snails and gray snails, and we definitely don't have any starfish that I've seen. But here, I mean, everything was just vibrant. I even saw something that I could have sworn glue in the dark. Like, it was just, I mean, it's like greens and blues and pinks, and the colors definitely stood out to me. I mean, everything was vibrant. This is just, a, it's more than I can ever imagine. What we hope for them to come back with is this idea that these animals are adapted. They're able to survive these conditions. And, and the, not just one or two animals, but a huge array of species and in very high density. So if they have that knowledge, it should lead to the following, the next question. And the next question is that, but if they're there, is there some form of organization? Is there some way that they structure themselves? This skirt right here sort of seals it down. Or if you get it off. Yeah. That makes it hard to see. <laughs> we want from them a little booklet on the intertidal life that we find it in here in Tsitsikama. Then they have to go back to the lab and sit with all their different identification books and then ID them up to species level, then produce this little booklet. We also like to enhance other skills. There we would like to see some creativity, um, what do they do for a front page, a little bit of introduction and then discussing the animals, but also getting it scientifically correct. Once they've completed their booklet, um, we're going to have a little presentation looking at their books and then followed by a nice quiz on what they've learned today.